Hello again. It's time for another update uh, for you on our clinical trials for CDH1. I'm excited to announce that we're starting our randomized trial of endoscopic surveillance for CDH1. This study is only open to people with pathogenic or likely pathogenic variants in the CDH1 gene. So what that means is if you have a VUS or variant of uncertain significance, or you're from a family that we call HDGC-like, uh, then this study's not for you. But for everyone else, I wanna tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, right now, as you all know, nobody really knows how good surveillance is for people with CDH1. Now, you may be aware of a study of ours that was published recently in the Lancet Oncology. In that paper, we stated that we think there is a role for surveillance as a potential alternative to prophylactic total gastrectomy. However, for many people, the jury's still out. Some people will say that we really don't know the optimal way of performing surveillance endoscopy. So our new study is gonna to try to answer that. Right now, as you know, the international guidelines recommend a minimum of 28 to 30 random biopsies of the stomach. As many of you know, for many years, we've been doing 88 random biopsies. But the truth is, I don't know which is better. In fact, in our recent Lancet Oncology paper, we said that maybe the number of biopsies actually doesn't matter. Plus, 88 biopsies is a lot, and, and many gastroenterologists out there in the real world won't even do that many uh, biopsies. So truth be told, when we do 88 biopsies, what are we doing? We're actually looking at 22 distinct areas of the stomach. And then in each of those 22 areas, what we do is we do a what's called a bite on bite biopsy. So we take one biopsy and then another one, and then we pass that off. And then we go back and we do that once more, bite, bite. So what that means is we end up with four little pieces of stomach tissue from each of those 22 zones. That's how we come up with 88 biopsies. So in this study, what we're gonna see is, is there really a difference between 30 random biopsies and 88 random biopsies of those 22 zones. What won't change is that we're still going to biopsy anything that looks abnormal. And we will still very closely examine the entire stomach just like we always do. Now my guess is there's, there's gonna be no difference between 30 and 88 random biopsies, or at least I don't think there will be any difference. What matters, I think, is that we still biopsy anything that looks abnormal and we still very closely examine the entire stomach. Now, my priority is to enroll folks in this study so that we can continue to understand what is the best way to do surveillance. And if we can do fewer random biopsies, then I think overall that would be good. Now, if everyone who comes to NIH to see us enrolls in this study, then we can have an answer in as short as a year and a half. Now, I think it's super important, and I think there's no reason we can't do this. I don't think there's a better or worse here. I don't think that 88 biopsies is better than 30, and I don't necessarily think 30 is better than 88. In fact, I want to do fewer than 88 biopsies because I think telling people in the real world that 88 biopsies is, is a good thing is just not practical. And many of you already know this because you've talked to doctors out there and 88 biopsies is just way too many. So what I'd like you all to do is, is ask questions. If you're already scheduled to come here, you're gonna be receiving phone calls from us to tell you about the study and ask you to enroll. I think uh, in my mind, this is a no brainer. We should be able to do this. We should be able to answer this question. And I don't think there's any uh, harm in doing 30 versus 88 random biopsies, because remember, we're still going to do everything else exactly the same. We're still taking a close look at everything. We're still biopsying anything that looks abnormal or suspicious. And I think in a year and a half, we can get an answer to this very simple question. Uh, it's good to see you all. And if you have any questions, remember you can reach out anytime. Thanks.